when we talk about measurement study analysis there are five different kind of variation out of those five two variations are very important one is stability and other is linearity in general industry either people are not aware what exactly is linearity and stability and even if they are aware they are not very clear about the difference between the two by the time this video will and you will understand what exactly is linearity what is stability what are the key difference between them and what we can do to make sure that in case there is a variation how we can bring it back within the specification <music> Well, in general, when we talk about industry, we see that there is a particular employee. Sometimes the performance is good, sometimes it goes down, sometimes it's good go, then it goes bad. Many times we see at home also, we see that maybe our child is doing very good, performance is very good, but by the time the final exam comes, we see that the person, the child is not performing good, and we say that now the child is feeling burnt out. Something similar happens with respect to the MS study when we are talking in context of linearity and stability. But before talking about linearity and stability, it's very important to understand the meaning of another point and that is bias. When we talk about bias, primarily it's talking about the difference between the reference value and the actual value. So the intent is that we take a value in a standard room in a controlled condition then we go to the actual workplace maybe the temperature is high humidity is high maybe there is a lot of noise and so many other things are there and then we check the same parameter there and then we see what is the difference between that that is called bias now linking it with linearity and stability starting with linearity when we talk about linearity we are talking about the bias over the entire length of that particular instrument so, for example, assume that we have a one year in our hand, assume this is a one year and there are different dimensions from 0 to 200 mm. Now, it's important to understand that there should be same kind of variation when we are checking 0, 10, 20, 50, 100 or 200. It should not happen that somewhere the variation is more, somewhere the variation is less. So, this is what we check in case of linearity that over the entire range of the instrument, whether the variation is under control or it is going out of the limit. And in case it is going out of the limit, so in that case, we need to look into the calibration part, how we are looking into the handling of the instrument and maybe the frequency of calibration that we need to look into that. Now, coming to stability. Now, stability is talking about the bias over the period of time. So, it means in different countries or maybe in different places, there are different weather. Sometimes it is very cold, extreme cold. Sometimes it is very hot. Sometimes it is too much rainy, too much humid. Now, in all those different situations, how our instrument is performing, if it is giving the right kind of reading or it is changing. To give a context of that, generally in a paint shop, if you look into the viscosity of the paint, in summertime, viscosity is very low or maybe you, know, you can say very high means, say for example, if it is 15 seconds in summer, but when the winter comes, it goes up to 17 or 18. Why? Because there is a change in the weather. On the same way, when we talk about different instruments, there are some instruments that we need to identify in our organization which changes over a period of time with the change in weather. So we need to identify that whether the instrument when we are using in summer or maybe in winter or maybe in rainy season, whether it is giving the same kind of variation or it is fluctuating up and down. If it is happening, then we need to identify that and we need to take suitable action. So if I do a summary, I talked about bias wherein I talked about the reference value and the actual value, then I talked about linearity, it is a bias over the entire range of the instrument and then when we talk about stability, it is a bias over the extended period of time when we check at different times to see how much is the variation which is happening at different times. Well, my next video will again be something related to MSC where I am going to talk about a very interesting topic that is related to RNR. Often we are discussing about 10%, 30%, what is the meaning of 10%, what is the meaning of 30%, why there is an issue if it is more than 30%. So all that I am going to discuss in my next topic. Regularly I am getting a lot of feedback from your side and they are helping you to understand your expectations. So please do continue that.
and in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video you'll find a link below if you click that you'll find a blog there there you find this information in much more detail and in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs you can always share with your friends and colleagues and you can subscribe to my youtube channel and my website bhavimangla.com thank you